We're taking you out live right now, looking at clear water. Looks pretty nice out there, but it's definitely hot and humid. Chief Meteorologist Bobby Deskins is here. Dew points is kind of the way we look at humidity, right? Humidity is a pressure, dew point, and temperature. But if you watch the dew points, you'll know if it's going to be more humid. They are up five, six degrees today. The wind's still coming in off of that water. That water's in the mid to upper 80s. So yes, it is muggy out there for today. Uh, temperatures are going to stay that way throughout the rest of the afternoon. We're going into the upper 80s to near 90 degrees. Let's head over to the weather wall. I want to talk about some showers and storms that are heading our direction. Just a few out there now, and, and I think overall the rain coverage today will be less than what it was yesterday. You can see those showers that are falling apart. That one good thunderstorm towards Mayaka City and towards Mayaka Head. But again, most of Pinellas, we're looking good. Most of Hillsboro, quiet at this point, although partly cloudy. Pasco now drying out, although that helped the coolest. I'd say it helped the coolest because it did briefly, but also just added more moisture to the atmosphere. So it's even more humid after those showers move through the Port Ritchie, New Port Ritchie area. All right, that thunderstorm, pretty decent one. Can't rule out some gusty winds in the 40s in this. I don't think we'll see a severe thunderstorm warning from it, which would mean winds upwards of 60 miles per hour. So that's good. But if you notice, we still have this same pattern, this west to southwest flow coming in. We still have these showers and storms. Most of this will stay to our west today, but a couple of showers will develop. And you see this line here. This is what we will see this afternoon. So if you're watching from Polk County, Hardy, DeSoto Highlands, you have the best chance for showers and storms today. Big ridge of high pressure out over Texas. That's why they're so hot. They will stay that way through the first of the month. So we're talking eight, nine, ten days. Uh, this pattern's going to be setting up like it is. And that means really for us, our west to southwest winds stay the same. Air temps in the mid to upper 80s now. Dew points right now. Upper 70s to near 80. That is ridiculously high dew points. And what's happened over the last, uh, well, 24 hours or so, these come up five, six degrees. So, it, yeah, it's been humid yesterday in the last several days. You'll go out today and you'll notice it. You'll come out of the air conditioning with sunglasses on and they'll fog up pretty quickly. When you put those numbers together, right now it feels like 100 in Tampa. Same thing just about in St. Pete and Sarasota, but Riverview is a little bit more than that. Those numbers will go about 105 to 110 this afternoon. There's a small break. Uh, I don't even call it a break. A little dip in the dew points for the weekend, so it won't be quite as humid, but it's still going to be hot and humid out there. Now, there's the rain chain. Remember that line that's sitting here now? That's where it will be this afternoon at 2, 2.30. So central and eastern Polk County, seeing those storms come through. Then we'll start to watch this evening after about sunset or so for some showers and storms to pop up. I do think tomorrow morning around 3 or 4 in the morning, we're going to have another batch of showers and storms come through the area. So we'll have to watch those for overnight. And tomorrow we'll kind of do this all over again. So there's your forecast. We're going to go upper 80s to near 90 today, but the feels like temperature closer to about 105 tomorrow looks very, very similar to that. The seven day forecast shows that we've got not a big change with that west to southwest wind continuing about 50 to 60 percent rain chance coming up for the upcoming weekend. Tropics guys real fast. We have tropical depression four. it's way out there in the Atlantic. It's going to recurve. You can find more on my Facebook page, Bobby Deskins weather.